Hi everyone, welcome to this video where I'm looking at another copy of the Scry magazine. This is issue number 14 and it's from May 1996. So this is a year on from the last magazine that I showed you, which was, I worked out to be number 6. I didn't see a number originally in when I was filming the video, but I found it inside. So I believe this was a polybagged issue because it says it comes with a free player's guide. I presume this is from Magic, and there's a free Middle Earth card, but uh, this is just a loose magazine. There's no inserts, so I can't show you those, unfortunately. So let's just open the magazine and see what's in this issue. So we get an advert for um, Red Zone, is that American football? And the Middle Earth, the Dragons advert. Get another advert for this, I've seen this before. Spheres of Ascension, the strategy tarot game. I've never seen it in shops, but that advert was in another issue I've unboxed for you. And we get the contents here. Uh, more contents and an advert. Then we get like the introduction. So they're saying here they hope to get their first look at X Files and some other card games and Monty Python the Holy Grail. That um, must be a gaming convention or something, but those haven't come out yet. We get an advert for Gangland, I don't really remember that game. Uh, letters from the readers. More letters there. Then we get like the news, start of the news page here. So they're saying they've had their first look at the X Files CCG prototype cards and they're really blown away with it. Also says down here MMG Multimedia Group from the UK brought colour proof sheets of the Doctor Who CCG, which is out in May, which is correct, I got it around June 96, I remember. There's a bit about um, X-Files again here and the Cypher news. So, uh, Star Wars CCG was out at this time. They've announced three Empire Strikes Back expansions and two Return of the Jedi's. That was what they did, I think, in the end. New Hope arrives in June, followed by Hoth in October. Those timings are about right, I think. Uh, it says Decipher introducing an additional expansion for Star Trek called All Good Things, due out in late 1997. That never appeared. That was the set they did right at the end of the run to like finish off all the sets. And we've got some other news from some other companies. More news. So Kenza, they're the ones that did the Monty Python card game that I collected. I've still got that. Again, if you want to see that on my channel, let me know. Then we get Magic News. A card collects compendium, so all the card games that are available. Um, some more reader like card combinations and things here. Uh, an advert for Dark Age. More magic. Some deck ideas for magic. And uh, then we get like the dream card page. I always found this really interesting people making up dream cards. This issue is just magic cards. Sometimes you get the odd Star Trek and Star Wars one, which is interesting. FAQs, Middle Earth. And we get a Magic Tournament right up. Uh, there's some news from card stores here. They're saying what the hottest cards are, which is usually Darth Vader from Star Wars and the slowest moving sets and things. 
This is interesting. This is them asking card stores if a 13 year old came in and asked to recommend a CCG to buy, what they'd recommend. Usually it's magic. For old people, it's Star Wars as well. This is an interview with a tournament winner. This is where they analyse a deck. I think that's a tournament winning deck, they analyse that. Yeah. More tournament stuff. Oh, Middle Earth, that is. Uh, Red Zone, that's that advert from the start. That one. They've done a write up about that. Rules. Oh, there's even a. They're really trying to push this weird <laughs> tarot game. <laughs> Bit strange I'd do that, but I suppose if the company might have sponsored that. There's an interview with looks like a magic artist here, so he's not got a shot here and then he turns it into a card. Same with the jester. That's quite interesting. And let me get the price guides. It's still the old format price guide. Uh, so we get magic. These are quite hard to follow because they all blend into each other. The newer price guides have the logos and things. You can only tell what's what because of these odd cards scattered about. So that's Star Trek, Alternate Universe, and then you get Star Wars. Some store tournament schedules and an interview with Wizard of the Coast Vice President Event Marketing and then we get an advert here for a baseball game none of these baseball American football games ever made it to the UK I never remember seeing any in the shops so I'm completely unfamiliar with these sort of games and then on the back we get an advert for Netrunner I never bought Netrunner but I always remember seeing it in the shops so yeah, that's issue number 14 of Scry Magazine. Hope you enjoyed the video everyone. Please subscribe to my channel to see my future videos. I've got a load more of these Scry Magazines to do, so stay tuned for those. And I'll see you soon. Bye.